What's going on YouTube people? It's your boy Kareem BA, KP, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to make the easiest mock-up in the game. Two layers, that's it. So, what you want to go ahead and do is, if you don't already, go ahead and grab Photoshop. I do have it in the description. It's on the Kareem BA resource pack uh, website. You can go ahead and grab that along with the free mock-ups, even the one that I use today. So if you don't already, go ahead and grab that right now. So once you've done that, um, go ahead and open up your Photoshop. It should look something like this. If you're already, if you already had Photoshop, you should have a couple of files here if you've already been working with it, things like that. But you're gonna go ahead and hit create new. We're gonna start with a new file. Um, I like to go ahead and name my files always. So I'm gonna name this Tut because it's a tutorial. So let me go ahead and tell you guys the dimensions I like to work with. I personally prefer to work with pixels, um, especially when I'm working with mock-ups or designs. It's just, I don't know. It was just how I learned how to do it. Um, it's a personal preference. You, you can work in inches if you want, but I just feel like pixels is better. Um, so for the perfect square, I run 2000 by 2000, um, which is essentially like the perfect square to post on Instagram. You don't have to do any work to it really. Um, so I go 2000 by 2000 within height. Um, it should be selected with the horizontal even though either way it doesn't matter um i like to work with artboards personally uh so you can go ahead and have that on if you want to that's a personal choice if not it's cool um with resolution i personally like to do 3000 um but 72 works as well if you don't have the highest of quality design go ahead and do 72 so um since this is more so for beginners i'm gonna go ahead and put it on 72 so make sure your resolutions are 72 and your background content is on white you don't want to really do uh, a black colored um mock-up well I personally i prefer not to so um go ahead and create and it should open up something like this i do have a couple more tabs on the right side but that doesn't really matter too much for this um so once you've opened up that make sure that you already have the mock-up pack downloaded and go ahead and open your file explorer or your finder uh, and go ahead to go wherever you downloaded them at or wherever you have your mock-up stored uh go ahead and pick whichever one i'm gonna go ahead and work with this black faded tee that i have um which is also in the pack below so go ahead and grab that if you don't already um, and go ahead and just drag it in like I just did once you're in file explorer whether it's a PNG JPEG file a PSD t-shirt you can go ahead and just drag it right into Photoshop um, and this square should come around it so you can resize uh, I personally like the size of it right now so I'm not gonna do too much work on it um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit enter right now and uh, I feel like it's off-centered so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it to the right a little bit just so I feel like my two ends are even you can even use your arrow keys if you feel like you want to do just a little bit more um so once you have your t-shirt in you're literally just going to go and find your design file you should have one if you're making a mock-up so um go ahead and find your design file wherever that is so i'm going to be working with the north wrap t that i have um so i'm just going to go ahead and take this png file it is a png so i'm going to go ahead and take the png file take it and just drag it right in it goes right on top of the t-shirt no when you are making a mock-up please try and be realistic i obviously can't print um on a shirt this large i can't make my design this big on a t-shirt just because the the is going over the neck and obviously this is going on to the sleeves as well it's possible but let's try and be realistic here guys so um i'm gonna go ahead and adjust this design just make it a little bit smaller um make it to where i feel like i can actually get this t-shirt made so um i'm gonna go ahead and make it a bit smaller too go ahead right here and um you can also align it with the horizontal align up here along with the vertical align if you want it to be exactly centered on your t-shirt i personally like to arrange it how i see it so um i think this is good right here and that's it this is this is the end of making the motherfucking mock-up so um there's two ways to share this whether you want to put on instagram your website all kinds of shit i'm gonna go ahead and show you the two and then i'll show you one more as well um so since there's already a background on here we're just gonna go to file export quick export as png and go ahead and save that wherever you want so i'm gonna go ahead and save that on my desktop i'm gonna go ahead and name it tut um and go ahead and hit save and it'll just save right to your desktop um another way is you can go file export 
export as and make sure as the format you select jpg jpeg um and make sure that your quality is at 100 percent. you do not want 10 percent or 50 percent. you want 100 percent quality uh because you want your t-shirt and your design to look the best when you post it on instagram or you you have people shopping on your website so make sure that you have it on 100 percent quality and hit export all um and then just put tut whatever you want to name it save it where you ever you want to save it and it's there uh, you can go back to file explorer wherever the t-shirt is you can go ahead and open it up it's right here uh it's pretty fucking simple it's not too complex or too hard honestly um so that's the easiest way um another way to export it is you should be in the top right uh there should be a share image button and i'm on windows so i have a little less options than you if you were on mac on Mac, this is extremely resourceful because you can airdrop it directly to your phone from here. You can iMessage it to somebody, be like, yo, yo, check out this T I do, you know what I'm saying? So um on Mac, you have a couple more options when you hit the share and image button on the top right corner. But on Windows, I can email it, I could tweet it right now if I wanted to. Um, you know, directly to Twitter, be like, new T, I don't <laughs> whatever you want to share it as. I mean, go ahead and do that. Um, you can email it to yourself if you prefer to. Um, you can do all kinds of all kinds of things here. Um, so that's about it. Like I said, this is probably the easiest fucking mock-up you can make. Um, it gets the fucking job done, and people like this shit. So um, if you did enjoy this video and it did help you, I would appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. I have a bunch of resources that are free in the description. I have direct garment printers you can trust. I have screen printers, embroidery shops, anything you can find. I have it in a resource pack, premdstudios.com. Go ahead and check that out. I'm out. Peace.